there is a bold and brave moment that is about to happen in this Mass. It happens every Mass, actually, but I suspect we often don't notice. But if you are finding yourself today broken, suffering, or knowing some sort of heartache, and you are awake to this moment, you might find it shocking. In a few minutes, in the name of the Universal Church, I will say to you, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, and you respond, it is right to give God thanks and praise. And then I will begin that greatest prayer of the church, the Eucharistic prayer, with the words, it is right always and everywhere to give you thanks. It is right always and everywhere, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Now, if you're happy and healthy and enjoying the blessings of these days, I think those words seem natural. Well, yes, it's right always and everywhere to give you thanks, oh God. But if your life is hard now, or you feel heartbroken or frightened, what must it be like to say those words then? And every time we celebrate a funeral and I see a family sitting here in the front pew next to the body of a loved one, and I say, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, and I hear them say it is right to give God thanks and praise, I wonder what it must be like for them. You want me to give God thanks now? In this moment, my heart is broken I can't imagine going on or how to get through this, and you're asking me to give thanks? Correct. It's exactly what we're doing. Because the church knows something that we might not be able to know ourselves in the moment, that always, even then, there is a blessing hidden in the moment. There is a blessing hidden in every moment. Even the most dark and painful times of our lives. You heard it in this gospel, how Jesus noticed the one who was grateful, who saw the gift and blessing in his or her life and came back to tell Jesus thanks. And Jesus' response was, in summary, that you would be grateful is what will heal you. It will make you whole that you knew to come back and give thanks. My brothers and sisters, is it not true that there are some people, and we probably all know them, who seem to make it their life's habit to look for what is wrong in every moment. And you know, if you look for something to be mad about or complain about, you'll find it. There's always something to be mad about if you want to be. But I hope you also know people like I do who have done the hard work and learned to look for the blessing hidden in every moment, both the obvious times and the difficult times. Because the truth is, if we look, there is a blessing to be found. I'm not saying that we'll feel grateful. I, sometimes all we feel is heartache. But in those times, we choose to trust that there's a blessing. And that blessing doesn't take away the pain, the fear, the loss, the hurt. But the fear, the pain, the loss, and the hurt don't take away the blessing either. The promise is that this chronic illness, 
that last goodbye, that withered dream, the lost relationship, this crushing failure. It all carries a gift. And if we keep searching, I believe the day comes when we can say to God, I thank you for the gift that I found in that loss. There is something of me that loves bigger or better than I could have had I not known that pain. That's the promise. If it sounds like hogwash to you, maybe find a mentor and talk about your life and have them help you see and seek the blessing in those places. I know when I have suffered most, I hated it. But I tell you in all honesty that in my every loss or failure or pain, I have found a blessing there as well. This weekend, as announced, we will anoint the sick at all of our masses. This might be your year to come forward or to watch someone else you love come forward. If, if not, someday it will. And someday it'll be your turn to sit here when a loved one is buried, if it hasn't already been. And it might even be that this day you come here with a heart burdened with loss or fear or failure or heartache. And you will hear that invitation. I will say, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And you will respond, even if you can barely choke the words out through your tears. It is right to give God thanks and praise. And it will be right to do so. Because in our gratitude, we will be made whole and find the blessing hidden in even the most surprising places. It is right, always and everywhere, to give God thanks. Well, hello, old buddy. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Oh, I'm supposed to do a knock, knock. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ofer. Ofer? Ofer who? Ofer 5. Sound familiar? Sound familiar? Ah, Ofer 5. The Rams. I see. Okay. There. Okay. Yeah. It stinks. It stinks, yeah. Okay. I, it's no fun losing, is it, Big Al? Mm -hmm. Well, Big Al, you know what I would suggest? I would suggest that there is a blessing even in losing. Well, Big Al, you don't like to lose, do you? Duh. I know. I, don't, I never like to lose either. But here's the promise from Jesus that there's a blessing hidden in everything. Oh, 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 Big Al. Even the hard times, even the s scary times. Draft pick. Draft pick. Not just a better draft pick, okay. I I I'm talking about there's some things that we could only learn when we lose, Big Al, or when life is hard. Now, I know Jesus doesn't want us to suffer, but Jesus knows that life will be hard, and our job is to, to learn to look and see the blessing there even in the hard times. Go Blues! <laughs> and, and boys and girls, 
your moms and dads and all of us, we only want blessings in your life, but everybody's life is hard sometimes. And when your life is hard, we want you to learn to look for the blessing hidden there, even in the hard times. 